Good morning or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a bit of this thing. And let's actually get the sound levels right first, because it doesn't have a fucking volume slider for some reason. Holy crap. Alright. What is this? It's Card City Nights. It's by Ludosity, if I recall correctly, who is the developer of It'll Do, which was a reasonably charming Zelda-esque game, I would say. And it is based on the art style of that, and it actually has some of the characters from it. I don't really have much relation to it, but... I've cracked through the tutorials. And that's apparently a frog, according to this game, so there you go. And try to figure out exactly what's going on with it. But it's a deck builder. Or is it? Well, it's, it, calling it a deck builder is not necessarily fair, because a deck building card game is a bit better to... For, a bit different. In a trading card game. That implies building a deck during the game, which actually does not happen, so there is that. That is apparently my deck. It's it's kind of difficult to know exactly what to put in it at this point, because I have really no context to figure it out, but some of the card art is rather amusing. I'll give them that. Such as a turnip. Because why the hell not? An incredibly ugly statue. These old men, and so on and so forth. Hmm. Oh great, the stupid comments have begun. <laughs> Jeez. It looks like an iOS game. What, what does that mean? I, I, I'm just, I'm actually interested to know what it looks like an iOS game means. Because like, I have, I have an iPad right here. And if I look at the list of games that I've got, there is really nothing tying them together in terms of their aesthetic in any way. Like, I compare Ridiculous Fishing to Infinity Blade 3 to... Warhammer Quest, to Colossatron, to Deus Ex the Fall, to Kingdom Rush, to Echo Prime, to Castle Doom, to Bard Bet. You get the idea? <laughs> there is no such thing as looks like an iOS game. That's not a real thing. So let's not use terms like that. Is that silly? Alright. Let's find out what this is all about then. So I'm getting a bit of a Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy Color sort of vibe from this, the reason being that it is an adventure game tied in with a trading card game of sorts. There doesn't appear to be any sort of multiplayer as far as I'm aware. If we move on here. Alright. Now this is the, again, very similar art style to It'll Do. So, if you've seen anything like that. It does actually look a bit like Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent, actually. It has a, a reasonably similar aesthetic. So, that sort of rough hand-drawn aesthetic. This is, wow, this is very much like Pokemon Trading Card Game on Game Boy Color, isn't it? Absolutely. Also, I'm a carrot, by the way, if you don't already know. You can... Okay. Who do one of... <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it is, but it is. So, that's a thing. It does have very large buttons, that's true. Admittedly, there's nothing in the interface which suggests that you couldn't do that. Like, because this, this right here, these are all the clickable things. Everything else is just art. So, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't have large buttons. Yeah, it's by the same dev as It'll Do, and it seems to use some of the same art assets and characters. But I didn't play much of It'll Do, so I don't really recognize much beyond the art style. It's a bunfish, I think they called it. No, fish bun. That's it. Can we battle? I guess we can. Alright. I am a carrot and a fedora, which seems to be the most appropriate thing I could possibly find. Alright, select my deck. So this is just the basic starter deck that you get. Alright, so the mechanics are based around a 3x3 board. And you get five cards. You place the cards on the board, and each card has sort of a, a corner connector. And some of them have more than others. And depending on what... You connect three together, usually, and then the effects kick in. So a defense card will, well, give you health. An attack card will either attack cards on the opponent's board, which disables them. They can be revived. That, oop, it will kind of lock them down so they can't be used. Or attack the opponent's health bar directly. So, let's have a look. What do I want to start with? Well, usually you probably want to start with something that has a lot of connectors, but they all sort of have the same number, so... We'll start with Mark. <laughs> that art! 
I click more info on Mark, then it'll tell you exactly what everything does. Game series Space Hunk. I like... That's interesting. I wonder how many more parodies there are in this, because I'm pretty sure that Kalman Rider is a, is a parody of Kalman Rider. I wonder if that's in the same series. Yeah, it's all kind of in the same series, bollocks of it. Oh, so this this one's actually from It'll Do. Okay. I wonder if Space Hunk is a real thing. I have to wonder. Alright, let's play the Fabio card then, I guess. So you can drag this onto anywhere on the board. Obviously, you want to drag it into a place where the connectors will make sense. So I'm going to put it there. And then you draw a new card. The opponent plays a card as well. It also accompanies it with smooth jazz, which is nice. Well, it's not so much smooth jazz, but it has jazz elements. Alright, what connects? Well, it's not an ideal setup, but we can definitely make it work. So what do we want to do? I think the best way to set this up... I don't think we actually have anything that would connect properly as a result. We need something that has a top connector. If we have something with a side connector, like, say, drone then we'd need something with a connector over to the right, which we actually don't have right now. So, already you can see I'm messing up. It does take a, quite a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Thankfully, I think the AI is as dumb, and thankfully we've just grabbed Mildegrad, who will let us make a connection. Alright, so that's a combo there. So I can either attack for three, or I can disable this stuff. Ah! Okay, cool. That's some interesting information. So yeah, Space Hunk is an actual game made uh, during Mojam. Alright, so all of this stuff is actually their stuff. Cool. That's good to know. Space Hunk is a real thing. Alright, well I'm gonna do three damage, I think. Why not? So, he pulls a drone. The AI, I think, is being deliberately dumb here. I mean, you just pull the drone and they're not pointing it in the same direction. I assume the AI gets better over time, because otherwise this game is worthless, but let's see. Alright, so I'm going to put down a defense card up to the top here. Let's get another drone card that, again, isn't going to connect to anything. So, yeah, it's, it's a little weird that the AI would do that. Even at the start, it's really strange to have the AI be completely incompetent, but we'll see. Okay, I think the best move we would not actually place the stick there. That would actually be a terrible idea. We could do the Kalman Rider. Hmm. There's actually not much we can connect here that would work. Hmm. I think what we've got to do is just go for this kind of angle. So we put the gate here. Apparently, if I place this, it's going to give me plus one defense immediately. Okay, so some of them do have immediate effects. And then try to go for a connection here, which I can do, actually, with Kalman Rider. So we will do that. There we go. So that's a combo for three. That gives me three. I'm pretty sure there are connection-based card games, and I've seen stuff like that before. If I recall correctly, wasn't the wasn't Eye of Judgment on the PlayStation 3, that fairly early PS3 game that used the PlayStation Eye for virtual cards, wasn't that... That used a grid, didn't it? There is no difficulty set. There's no anything setting, actually. The only setting is resolution options and windows on or off in the launcher, and that's it. Like, it's really, really basic. Alright. Oh, we have nothing that does that. I think we'll just have to go for another mark in the corner there. We can just put it there. It gives us more options. Oh, he's actually got a connection. Well done. Thanks. Monkeys and typewriters, really, with this guy. Alright, put a drone in the middle, and then we can connect... I actually can't connect anything to that. Not directly. You do... I'm actually kind of glad it's a single-player game, because you could spend this minute agonizing over where to put your cards. There's also neutral cards, which, as far as I can tell, are just used for linking stuff. Although, we should also bear in mind that you can set up multiple links, and if you can't get a link, you can kind of set up the possibility for another one. I think that seems to be the way to do it, sort of maximizing the possibility that you'll be able to execute a combo on the draw, rather than just going for one immediately. So it's like looking for connections here and there. I mean, this, this won't be any use, but this could be. 
Because you can't, you can't make anything out of this, because this doesn't link, and neither does that. So that's a dead square right now, but this isn't. So if you can find something that would link to that. The problem is I can't. <laughs> I don't have anything that would link to that whatsoever, so I think the... No, the drone would be a terrible idea. So I guess that's what a lot of the deck building is. It seems like the starter set gives you a complete lack of synergy. A lot of these cards, they just don't fit together. So, I think that's deliberate. And I think the first task would be to try and resolve that. I guess I'm just going to have to dump a card down at this point and hope to get another one. We could make a link here, though. I keep forgetting this is not... This is not noughts and crosses. So, you can link without a straight line. And you start playing it like noughts and crosses, you're immediately in trouble. But I could link this up if I had the right arrows, which I don't. So, but I could get one. Oh, do I? No. The incredibly ugly statue almost was. You'll see that that's a neutral card. So, this is, as far as I can tell, it's just designed to create a combo. So, neutral cards usually have more arrows on them, from what I can see. Ro it said something about rotation. I think you need to use a card ability to do that. The, the tutorial didn't mention rotation in any way. So if I, like, I can't rotate this card. But I think there are cards which will then... There are some that rotate, like, every turn. There are some, I think, that will rotate whatever's linked to them. And I think the rotation mechanic is fairly key to what's going on. Alright, well, because of this drone, I'm actually in a fairly shitty position. Can't really do much. But thankfully, the AI is so stupid, it doesn't really make a difference either way. I guess we just have to... There's gotta be something. Ah, ah, actually, yeah, I missed the combo completely. There's a combo right there. There we go. So I just go straight for his health, I think. Or we could just... We could do it to disable this card to prevent him getting a combo, but I don't think he can physically get a combo here. So it doesn't matter. We'll just attack him directly. And that does too. Music's good, actually. I'm enjoying it. I wonder how much of it there is, though. If it's just the same track over and over again, that could get really boring really fast. Alright, well, we've got nothing that points up at the top, so I guess we just put the Titan there, link it to the stick. That was actually stupid, and it's completely ruined the possibility of me getting anything out of that. It takes, it takes a bit of getting used to. The old man, I think, can be linked with only two. This symbol right here indicates that you only need two. It's a revive card. It's designed to re-enable a card that's been previously disabled, which is something you can do. I think, yeah, put the robot elf down there, and then that, that just does a revive, but that... <laughs> that doesn't do anything. That's actually a dead card, Apathetic Frog. It does nothing, so you don't want that. Not at all. So this link is useless. We need to start creating a new link. Yep, Apathetic Frog does absolutely nothing, which I think is absolutely appropriate as well. I think we put Incredibly Ugly Statue there, because that gives us two link possibilities. And you can win, by the way, by locking your opponent's board, as you can see. They can actually lose that way, so... And that got me a booster pack. Alright, which contains what? I assume these are all it'll do characters. Alright, revive combo, damage opponent one, start of the turn, move vertically. You see what I'm talking about? So this card actually fucking moves on the board, which is... Really strange. I don't know. I like that. That mechanic's pretty neat. It does. Break. It's more of a. It's almost more of a puzzle game than it is a card game. Also, this fish bun. <laughs> this is the first character you play, and all he does is play apathetic frogs. And then this character complains that actually all he's doing is eating the cards and not actually playing you. Yeah, the AI was definitely a bit dumb. Let's see if we can edit out some of this stuff, because it seems like a lot of this stuff is rubbish. So, they do have deck limits. The way the deck limit system seems to work is there are three rarities of cards. Common cards can be put in your deck five times. Uncommons, three, and rares, one. So, and you can, obviously... Wow, you can even order by theme, which is, as far as I can tell, completely irrelevant, but neat nonetheless. So, if we want to, you know, do it by rarity... This is in my deck, so these are all commons. So let's... I guess we can just strip this out entirely. Uh, I guess there's no quicker way of doing that. Okay, let's just strip everything out of there. And look to sort of make a balanced deck with the stuff that we've got. 
and use some of the higher rarity ones because they're probably going to be more useful. All right. So Jenny Deer is the rarest card that I've got. And you can see why, because it's ridiculous. It's got three arrows on it, and, you know, the more arrows, the better. Revive combo plus two defense to the owner. Yeah, that's that's kind of silly. We should definitely have that, I think. There we go. Health potion. Revive random disabled own card, then remove this card. I guess, so you can actually play that anywhere. That seems handy to have, doesn't it? And then this one, again, has three links. It's wearing a bird on its head. I don't know why that is. And then... I've only got one of those, so... Okay. We can get two of those, just because, you know, they're linked to three, so that seems pretty good. This one does one damage, but it only links one way, so... That's a really strange and interesting way of balancing your cards out. By saying, oh, you can have a really powerful card, but it's going to be less useful because it's going to be much harder to set the combo up. Yeah, it looks like you have to drag the cards... Which is a little annoying. I'm going to put these in. I, I wish you could just... Like... It seems an easy thing to do. Just allow double click or control click or shift click. I'm trying all those just to make sure it's not the case. I guess a couple of, the, one of those would be interesting because it rotates. Drones seem fairly solid. Let's look for attack cards. Oh, you can also order by number of arrows. That's handy. Icons. So I guess this would put all of my attacks in the same place. So turn it rotates, which is interesting. So then you got Drones, Mark, and Mildegrad, who all sort of do the same thing, but they have arrows pointing in different directions. So it's like you would want all of those to try and set up attack combos. And then you've even got Stick, which is kind of the same thing too. But the turnip is an interesting one. I haven't really seen the need to use defense cards as of yet. But I think we'll put the... We'll put that one in. And I want to put the move vertically one in just... Oh wow, that's ridiculous. You do a defense combo, rotate a random enabled opponent's card. That's infuriating. Good lord. Okay, and then toss in just some stuff that will help us link things like that crystal. Ooh. That's not great. Cause... Or is it, actually? Because I'm thinking uh, usually it would just remove the card. I think with a crystal it just sends it back to sleep, which I think that that's potentially useful. Before I go any further, by the way, I just want to point out this game is $2 right now. At least for the launch week, and then it's 4 So... A couple of robot elves in there, and I guess we can throw a titan in there too. Okay. So, 25 is the minimum. You can actually go higher than that, but, you know, I think once you've got enough cards, you'll want to have lower, but I think you'll probably want a larger deck when you don't have enough cards for certain sizes. All right. Well, we'll go with that and see how well that works. Probably not very well, but... I'm interested to see where it goes. Sounds good to me. Alright. Yeah, I mean, the mechanics seem interesting. But it, it is almost like a puzzle game in disguise. It's like it's trying to trick you. Alright, neither of these are actually what I'm looking for. I don't want revives, so... I'll probably set up Incredibly Ugly Statue in the center, because that's going to let me combo off in multiple directions. What You would never want this, though, surely. Like, that just seems flat out worse than the stick. In every way, because it's only got one link and one attack. So it seems like there are cards that are just junk. I have to wonder if you can ever actually get those in boosters, or whether they just put, put those in the AI decks to make it easier to begin with certainly a possibility. Alright, an attack combo. Do we have one? Nope. Not at all. Do we have any combo whatsoever? Yes. We have Robot Elf. Can I set up Robot Elf in such a way that it will help here? No. We could use Turnip, because this rotates, so... 
Which way does it rotate, though? It doesn't actually say. Probably clockwise. All right, lads. I've got an idea. All right, cut sick combo coming in right here. Nope! <laughs> Not sick combo! It actually rotates the entire card. Okay. Now I understand how it works, and now I feel very sad. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I now cannot make that work. I thought it maybe just rotated the arrows round one. Apparently, no. It just is a complete rotation. Oh dear. Alright, I think we'll just have to set up something with this then. I see how that works now. That is... I mean, that's... I have not seen that before. I assume that games that do that exist, but I have not seen a card game that does it, and that actually impresses me. I don't think I can do anything with this, can I? No, I can. I can. I can, I can set up an attack combo here, so in two turns I'll actually get an attack. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Bromancing Saga 2, Professional Man Assassins. Again, I think all these games do exist, so you might want to look them up. So if I can get something that points upwards, I could actually get a combo out of this. All those misplays coming in right here. This is this is way worse than Hearthstone for misplays. You can screw up so badly. Alright. I could do a revive combo here. Pretty sure that wouldn't be of any use, though. And it's kind of burning my absurd rare card. It's the way to go here. Well, I can't put anything there yet which will actually set this combo up. So, is there anywhere else that I could try to set one up? Yes. And we could go Robot Elf up here. Also, filling your board and not having any combos does kill you, so you do have to be a little bit careful. That's assuming I don't already die to the AI this time around. Man, I need something that points that way, and I don't have anything. This is the dick move card, which I'm not going to use. I could combo here just to get rid of the statue. I'm tempted to. I might actually just toss this out just to get rid of that statue. Make some space. There we go. That should make things a little bit easier. So bear in mind, I can use this to rotate a random enemy card. So this still links to that. Ah, cool, I've got a link. Okay, so next turn, this is going to combo and do an attack. Sweet. I'm going to... Oh, I thought it was going to take damage from that, actually. But I guess it's because it was part of a revive combo. The revive overrides the attack. An attack combo must contain three cards of some description, whereas a revive only contains two. Well, this is now a combo, right? This should go off, surely. Why is it not triggering? Am I missing something here? Because this seems like that's linked to that, which is linked to that. That's a combo, right? Huh. Yeah, I don't have an explanation for that. Perhaps that I believe that there's a, someone claiming to be a dev in the chat. I'm not 100% sure if it actually is. I'm going to try and double check and verify that. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, I have no verification. That's actually the dev. I would need to check on their Twitter or something like that. So if you are the dev, please tweet on the dev's account and then link it in the chat for me so I can have a look. But yeah, I, that isn't doing anything. Yeah, it may yeah, you might be right, because it's at the start of the turn, it doesn't pop automatically. That's a possibility. Okay. Alright, so we can put a drone here, because we know that card's going to disappear, which will give us a link next turn. Yeah, so that's it. Basically, so combos trigger at the end of the turn, not at the start. So that makes sense. There we go. And I can actually combo this, yeah. That'll work. It won't do much, but... So to 
The question is, do I want an attack or a defense combo? I think I actually... No, let's disable that one card that he's got there. There we go. So that now won't work unless he uses a revive combo. Alright, let's look for a better setup. I might have to burn this card, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna set something up with that because I need some defense. He's trying to set up a revive combo to bring that back. Well, I could just combo Jenny Bird with that. So that's gonna give me two defense, and that'll clear my board as well. Apathetic Frog doing absolutely nothing as always. That's useful. Keep a hold of that. Let me go mark in the corner. I currently have nothing which links to that. So I guess we have to go mark again. Now he revives that card. So that's now active again and can be used in combos. Hmm. I'm just going to open up as many possibilities as I can, really, here. Because I'm not getting the cards I need. Oh, that's going to hurt. Will this- this should trigger an attack. I can do the link. Yeah, so in this case I can select which combo I want, which of course is going to be attack, so I'm going to do two damage. Yeah, there are no in-app purchases of any description for what I've seen. Not that IAP actually applies to PC titles, but uh, there are no microtransactions. Just confirming this is actually him. Yep, seems to be. Okay, yeah, so really Joel is a dev and is currently in the chat, so he's going to be able to answer questions, or she. Is it a he or a she? Let me just double check so I don't end up insulting someone. I mean, Joel sounds like a... Yes, Joel Nystrom is his name. Or is it Nystrom? I'm not sure. Yep, he's dev, so he'll answer your questions. In the meantime... Alright, we're in a good spot. I am going to use Tipsy because it sounds hilarious. I want to mess up this guy. But I don't have the ability to do that yet. I can set something up though. If I put really incredibly ugly statue there, I can probably get a link in some way. Yeah, I can throw Mildegrad in there. There we go. Which gets me... But only if I do a defense combo does it does that. Let, let's do that anyway, just for the sake of hilarity. There we go. So that is... Oh, damn. <laughs> that's, that's not necessarily what I was looking for. It's okay, though. That actually burned his... That's interesting. That burned his revive combo. And he had nothing to revive. So that's actually arguably a good play. Okay, let's look for more attack combos. Put Mildegrad in the corner there. Yeah, good. Yeah, so the early opponents do have totally crap AI. Yeah, after the first couple of games, we kind of pointed out this guy is doing nothing useful in any way. <laughs> it's good to know that they deliberately have bad AI. I guess that sort of eases you into the game. All right, we can't get a three attack combo out of this. Can you go higher than that combo wise? Can you go up to four or even larger combos? I guess you could, in theory. I don't think I've got what I need to link something like that up, though. I'm just going to throw the Titan down. And go for an attack combo. Straight to the face. There we go. If anything, it's worth it just for the smooth jazz. Question to really Joel, how many how many tracks are in the soundtrack? I'd like to know that. go for a gate in the corner, I think. Sweet! Hang on. How did I do that? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> New booster pack. Ooh, those look nice. Just placing the fire sword does one damage. 
So, I mean, that card seems objectively better. From what I can tell. Like, am I right in thinking that some cards are just objectively better than other cards? It's just you can't have as many of them in a deck. Ah, it has a Hearthstone Fatigue mechanic. I see. Okay, cool. I understand. <laughs> can I fight her again? I suppose I can. Let's, let's alter the deck in a way first, though. I don't know, I kind of like the fact that it's single player, because the the fact that it's more of a puzzle game does sort of encourage you to wait. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm spending sometimes several minutes trying to figure out what the best play is. Yeah, purples are rares, I think. Well, this is the rarest. Purples are uncommons. Browns, yeah, let's check. More info. Yeah, pink frame, uncommon card. That means three copies only. That is rare. Yeah, gold frame. Only one of those allowed in a deck. So we can actually go above 25 cards, but I don't really necessarily want to. Maybe I just want to start cutting out some of the less good cards. I mean, if I were to cut out... I could get rid of one Mildegrad... Or I could, hell, I could get rid of Turnip. Uh, turnip has that rotation thing going for it, so I think Turnip's worth keeping. But I could cut out... This is, yeah, I mean, Fire Sword is almost the same as Drone. So I could cut out one Drone and replace it with a Fire Sword. And then it's Portal Wand, placement plus one defense to the owner, so... I don't have that many defense cards. I've got, well, I could probably toss the Titan. It's so weird, because you're having to... You're not having to consider just the strength of the card, but you're having to consider how many of each card that has the right kind of arrows that will point to each other going into a deck. That's a fairly important thing to consider. I'm going to toss that and then go for Portal Wand. That seems reasonable. I don't know if there's any actual trading mechanic involved. You may be able to sell cards in-game later, because there, there's definitely a cash system of some sort. So can we do this again? Can we just repeat this fight? Or is there somewhere else we can go? Let's have a look on the map. Oh, there are other places. On the map, by the looks of it. Is that a house? I assume so. Go back into the house for no apparent reason. Oh! It's a hidden object game as well! There's money hidden in this stuff! What? Alright. Click on everything. Oh, apparently you've got to click on the white arrow to go to the boss. Alright. Well, I'm stealing money from my own home right now, so I'll be right back. Random hidden object game out of nowhere. Oh, there's I can go to the cave, but yeah, let's let's play the arrow. Okay, so this apparently goes onto the boss character. You see, I'm very intimidated because there's root vegetables in this room and they seem to be not only lucid but also sentient. Yep, pretty much. Alright, let's fight. With my <laughs> I just love that box. It's so terrible. Ah, different music. Yeah, a carrot with a fedora. It, it's, it is Reddit in a nutshell. <sighs> okay. So I'll probably just open up with first think of what we've got. Like where are potential links gonna happen, if anywhere. 
Right now, really nowhere, because Mildegrad and Mark don't link together. They're just kind of corner cards. But we'll start off with that and hope to draw something that will link. That is... That is very Dead Space-esque. Oh, it's from Muri! Oh, shit. Yeah, it's that DOS-esque side-scroller, if I recall correctly. Like, indie game, the card game. 22 tracks of music, that's pretty cool. Put Miltograd in the corner again, just like, it just gives you more possibilities. Ooh! Oh, that actually damages... Alright, so that's a three-hour card, but the, the disadvantage is it damages the owner. Alright. Intriguing. Intriguing. Everyone seems to be making card games these days, although I don't necessarily blame them considering the popularity of everything card game related at the moment. That's cool. It's it's actually awesome to see a card game renaissance happening. I mean, obviously I love card games, you're well aware. Dump the crystal in the middle. Should give us a combo one way or the other. Hopefully. Yeah, just then we can just toss Mildred in there. And I don't really want either of these to link to anything, so I'm actually going to disable this card, which is going to mean that the possibility of her getting a combo next turn isn't going to happen. The problem is it burns all of your attacks, so you've got to be a little bit careful with that. Okay. Gate in the corner, I think. Yeah, it's tipping has <laughs> assuredly intensified. Oh dear. Mm, where to go, where to go, where to go. Could pop, toss Jenny Bird in there, but that's just going to burn that and it's not going to serve any practical purpose. Could again try and put Mark up there on the top row. Jesus, that seems scary. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, okay. Ah, Fire Sword. This was what we were talking about earlier. We can definitely use that. So I think we will toss down Jenny Bird to revive this. Ah, oh, it's going to burn that mark, which I didn't actually mean to do. Never mind. And then we can put the Fire Sword down, which will give us a couple of other options. I'm trying to see if there's like, anything that I could link the turn after that. Yeah, I could link Jenny Bird up to the top. That would give us a three. I love the fact that she's just burning herself to death, but she is also healing herself, so... Whatever works. And clearing her board, which is maybe even more important. Which is weird, it's the antithesis of what a game like Hearthstone is, where you're trying to clear the opponent's board, here you're trying to clear your own. There we go, we'll do that, and we'll go for just a straight-up attack combo. That's disabled anyway, so this card's currently useless until it's revived, so we'll just go for straight-up attack. Ooh, alright. This I need to... Can I disable this? Uh, not quickly enough, no. So... That's most likely going to end up being a revival to bring the Cybergrad back to life. But it happens. So we'll put Incredibly Ugly Statue in the middle, because that's the best place to put it. So there's the link, so that's going to revive Cybergrad, which then means there's a link going on here. I can't stop that, I don't think, so I'm just probably going to have to set up for defense and get a bit more health. So we could... Yeah, I mean, we can, we can make a combo out of this, but it's pretty bad. What I think we'll do is throw Tipsy in there, and then go for a combo, and then mess with the rotation of what she's currently got, and hope that that helps. I don't know if it will, though. If it would... Yeah, if it rotates Alexander, it'll mess with it. If it rotates the Cybergrad, it won't make any difference. I think we'll just we'll toss Mil... Well, it doesn't matter what I toss in, does it? Because I'm looking for the defense combo, so... I... If you mix a bunch of stuff together, you have to pick which is the most predominant. So if I put an attack in here, it would ask me to pick between attack and defense. If I put a neutral in there, it's gonna just pick defense. So that would be a waste of an attack card. So we'll just put the robot elf in there. That meant, yes, there we go. And that has then rotated that, which means that that combo is now not gonna happen. It's a, obviously a bit random, but it's also a single player game. And it's not like Hearthstone doesn't do the random thing. It most assuredly does. That's gonna... No, that's just gonna put it back up to seven. Okay. Well, never mind. 
So this actually on placement gives you defense, so I should probably just throw that in there anyway, because then I can link Mark to it next turn and then do a two attack with it. I'm also gain a bit. What the fuck is that thing? I assume that was the legendary card that we're talking about. Also, I'm starting to burn out of cards here. Once we run out of cards, I think that's actually game over. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Apparently, there is some kind of fatigue mechanic involved. Do I want to hit it? Yeah. I do. There are also certain cards that combo with specific cards from certain sets by looks of it. Do I want to put the turnip in? It is a bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah, why not? So it does seven. So the turnip is rotating. Not something you'll hear me say all that often. Enjoy it while you can. Another drone. Don't think we really want to use that, do we? Robot elf, probably. Yeah. And then... Actually, that doesn't work in any way, does it? <laughs> Come to think of it. But now I should be able to get something together. Do I really want to throw that in there? Kind of do. It's not an ideal use of it. Can I get something out of it next turn? No, nope, because if I throw the revive down, that's gonna that doesn't connect to that anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Oh, I can put the drone up here, and then I'll get the combo next turn. That works. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Actually, maybe not. It's gonna give a defense. There we go. So that's that combo. Can I make that combo any bigger? No, not by the looks of it. Yeah, there's nothing that links it. I've made a closed loop there, so. I could put Jenny Frog down there, but it's going to move up next turn, so that's not that helpful. Gate in the corner. Yeah, I can't. I can. No, that still won't work. Gate in the corner. And then just do a direct attack. And then we're almost out of cards. I guess we'll find out what happens when you run out of cards. Not the combination I'm looking for. I guess we'll throw this down. So everyone's out of cards. Now what happens? Is this the whole fatigue thing? We'll find out. I think we'll... Yeah, we'll throw that in there for a revive combo because it gives me plus two health. Yes. Okay, there is a fatigue mechanic. Looks like it'll kill me first. But... Can't make that into anything. Yeah. I wonder if we're, are we actually going to lose here? Possibly. I don't know. There's nothing I can do with this one, I don't think. Oh, definitely going to lose now. Yeah, fatigue is going to kill me. <laughs> that is infuriating. Damn. Welp. I lose, I suppose. Or do I? No, no, that is going to kill me. Yeah, ah! Oh! One turn away. Well, that's that. Oh, it just instantly restarts the battle as soon as you lose. Okay, good to know. Well, let's not fuck it up this time. We were talking about the AI being a bit brain dead earlier. Now it's just come out to kick my ass. Rightfully so, I think. Okay, yeah, we can do a link. Why not? Just direct attack, I think. But yeah, you could make a, just a bigger deck, and then the fatigue issue would disappear, wouldn't it? 
Oh, it's best of three. All right, it doesn't actually indicate that anywhere on the screen. Oh, yes, it does. Never mind. Th these little things right here is a best of three. Okay. But yes, we have found all the backseat gamers already. I fucking hate playing card games just because of that. It's like, I love card games until I involve interacting with anyone else. <laughs> then I hate it. Absolutely despise it. Do not wanna... I guess. Might as well clear those out. Doesn't do anything though. I wonder if the AI's deck size increases if yours does though. Because it seems like you'd want to throw... Can't even do anything useful. Can I? You'd want to end up throwing five more cards in your deck to make sure you don't die of fatigue before they do. won't do anything. Let's just say I'm lacking in choices. I guess I can make this into something, maybe. Tipsy will not fit in there. Nope. <laughs> Twitch chat's been pretty dodgy today as well. It's aired out on me twice already. Now I've just got to combo something to clear the board. I should have done that earlier. But I've just made an absolute mess out of this. I could probably just dump my health potion. I guess... This rotates, doesn't it? Is that useful in any way? No. Not at all. But I could just burn my card in the... There we go. That burns all of that. It's, it's of no value, though. That's the problem. And I'm already down to 12 cards, so... It's pretty bad. This is a defense. This is a defense. Do I have a defense link? No, 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 no. It's infuriating. <laughs> Gotta be something that works here. That's not only gonna work when I get rid of that as well. It's not gonna link to another stuff. I'll probably just have to throw that down. Yeah, let's throw the statue down. Let's get rid of that. I really don't want those comboing together, do I? If possible, but I don't think I can stop them. Portal one there. Yeah. Ouch. Gate in the corner. Yes, if you are currently typing, I can't read it because Twitch chat seems to be busted. My apologies. Slightly upset by that. It's lack of options. I think I can probably just make this work as a defense combo, though. There we go. Okay, so max health is 10. Good to know. Alright, we have the turnip. It's okay. I need more turnips. I got a fire sword, which is not... Yes, it will combo on the next turn as it rotates around. There we go. I was like hoping for a four attack combo. Didn't get that. Alright, I'll put Mildegrad down anyway because that combo's going to trigger. And we'll do damage because we're all running out of cards, so I guess we're going to rely on card fatigue again. Try and refresh the chat so I can see what it's saying. Because, like, I'd love to know what the dev's opinion is on the idea of just making a larger deck to avoid card fatigue. 
but I can't read it because Twitch chat is fucked again. Ugh. When isn't it? Yeah, the whole turnips thing is not going to be a thing. Don't even try it. It's not going to. Just give it up right now. <laughs> Fucking quit it. Come back in the corner. No good link to any of that. Turn though, so that's okay. Probably want to bust whatever link she's trying to do. We just toss down a robot elf to do that. And then disable. This is the best one to disable. Because that only offers one link there, and that nukes that link, whereas she has two links down there. Oh, never mind. Revive, but at least she was kind of forced to do that. And now we're on zero cards again. The question is, am I going to lose from this point? It's kind of looking likely. Right, it's fine. I can set up a revive combo. Which will keep me alive a little longer. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't see it because the Twitch chat's been frozen. So I haven't really had a choice. Alright, so we set up the revive combo solely to give me two extra defense. Which hopefully keeps me alive a little longer. Oh, no, it won't, because three attack. Oh, never mind. She misused the attack. So I think I I might win now. Yeah, there's no other combo that I've got, so... I guess I just tossed on the health potion to do a revive, because there's nothing else I can do. Yeah, I win, I think. Yes, I win. Sweet. <laughs> All right, final round, final round. Uh, give me a moment. I'm being pestered on Skype. It's like, I am busy, leave me alone. Robot Elf, I think, is the only good start. I'm getting all my neutral cards right now, which is absolutely useless. I'm getting anything out of that. I guess set that up there because it's going to rotate anyway. Definitely do not have enough attack centric cards. Let's rotate that so it's useless. Toss the crystal down there. There we go. So that card is now an absolute waste of space. So that in itself is good. Would that be useful? Probably not. Yeah, it would be next turn, actually. We can make that work. I'm lying when I say I could make that work. I actually can't make that work in any way. I've got a whole lot of nothing at the moment. I think I need to revive that. Let's just do that for the moment. Oh, I can actually, yeah, I could just turn that into an attack combo. Guess we'll just do that. I do need to revive that card at some point. 
fire sword. Middle for that. Now nah, you want to put it down there. It's not that helpful because of this thing rotating constantly. trying to think like how many of each card's worth of arrows that I actually have in my deck so when I try and play the odds it actually works but that's not currently doing the trick Should I just hit him straight up for three? I think I should. The problem with, like, choosing between three attack and then just doing damage here is you can only disable one of these cards. It's probably worth doing three damage, but most likely... That's just gonna end up giving a bunch of defense. Oh, and I... Damn it. <laughs> uh, never mind. Had. Yes, but only if I revive that. And this this guy's just been rotating in the corner, being absolutely useless this entire time. That's lovely. I have set up a really, really stupid situation where this is not going to work. If I can do a revive somehow, then I could get this going. I actually could do a revive if I can have anything that points upwards, which I don't have, so... <laughs> Screw it, just health potion, revive that combo. Clear the board up a bit. Revive combo. Revive that, clear the board. Do I want a portal wand? No, because I'm already at max defense. I want to burn something less useful. Probably that. Is there a link possibility? There really isn't, actually. So, yeah, just go for a straight-up attack to the face. Currently, yeah, I think she's going to lose here, because this is a mess. I'm not going to get anywhere with that. It's all because of this that I did to her earlier. She can't get rid of this card, so her board's an absolute disaster area. Yeah, she's toast. Incredibly ugly statue in there. Right in the corner. For attack, I think that just kills it, doesn't it? Should you kill an next turn off card fatigue? Nice. There we go. Nice. I, am I fucking? Am I fucking serious? Nice. Really? Nice is no. That's not a word that you use in that situation in any way. Now that is just disturbing. And should look at this fucking thing. That's. Oh, God. Huh. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Seems alright for 
two dollars. <laughs> it's pretty hard to complain about that. And the lack of options is pretty stupid. Like, come on, audio sliders, that's a fairly easy thing to do. I know I can do it in my Windows 7 mixer, but really. Yeah, let's, let's have some volume sliders in there, but nah, it's fun. And costs next to nothing, so, you know, that's a plus. Yeah, I'll play a bit more of it off-screen, uh, and then I'll, I'll probably just do my WTF is for tomorrow. I mean, I've, I've already kind of formulated a first impressions opinion. I want to play a bit further in just for the sake of deck building. So I'll probably do that off-screen. I'm gonna take a break, and I might do something else. Let me let me have a look on Steam and see if there's anything else that I would really like to do for research that's popped up. I'm not doing Metal Slug, that's not gonna fucking happen. I don't really want to do research on Loco Cycle. I think I would rather throw myself down a well. Where are the options, exactly? Where? Because <laughs> I, I, I I went to you. I, I don't know where the options are. That's the thing. I don't see them anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a really weird place to put them. So, they do exist. Uh, but you've got to go... You First, you've got to click your player profile button, and then there's an options button there, rather than there being a separate options button entirely, which is a little weird. Yeah, they're hidden under profile. Don't, don't put them there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but you can actually change your volume levels there and battle speed for animations. The animations are quick enough anyway. I don't think you'd really need to accelerate that. And you can unlock extra boards, which I believe include, well, pieces of pizza box. Yeah, so it, it does exist. All right, cool. Yeah, that's fun. I'll play a bit more of that. Definitely. Okay, is the yeah, it's actually very much a shame that Rambo is not out yet. I am I'm looking forward in a sadistic way to be to look at Rambo because I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely awful, but we will see. Strider is out in 2 days. I don't think I have code for that. Uh, let me just check with Chris. I'm just going to check with Chris if we actually have code for Strider. I don't think we do. Uh, aside from that, just check the team box and see if there's anything interesting that I can kind of install quickly. No, not Girls Like Robots. It's a puzzle game. You know I'm going to hate it. Don't even. Sea Rush. That's, that's also $2. A bit weird. It's a schmop by the looks of it. Well, at least I got it out a couple of days before Ikaruga comes and stomps on its head. That's a plus. Yes, my win ratio is currently infinity, interestingly enough. Because I guess I've I've not lost a series, so if you have zero losses, then your win ratio would be infinity by that calculation. If you're doing the division thing. Uh, let's see. Recent stuff that got sent to me. Major Mayhem. Updated build of Infested Planet. I've already kind of covered that, so I don't really see a need to revisit it. Banished I've just done. That's out now, so you can go and have a look at the video. The game comes out on the 18th. Ardman's Home Sheep Home. I, I, do I really, what, is that actually Ardman, as in the sheep from, yeah, it is, Sean the Sheep, so, Wallace and Gromit, yes, it's a, it's a very British puzzle game, apparently, oh dear, that doesn't sound like a good idea, what else have I got, uh, Nassance, which is apparently just an exploration game. OMG Zombies, which I have no interest in playing. Uh, Metal Slug 3 is 20 years old. Windborne. Oh, I have an updated version of Windborne. Huh, okay. Let me install that, because the last version I played, that was that kind of Minecraft-esque game that actually looked quite promising. Let me install this. It's a 420 meg download, so I can download it during the break. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. When I come back, we'll we'll have a look at the updated build of Windborne. It's very much still in beta, so I'll probably not do a video on it, but I'd like to have a look at it anyway. So I will be right back after the break with Windborne. <laughs> 